think of it as fast food for elk. When the snow gets deep and temperatures drop, it's simpler to drop in for an easy meal at the local haystack rather than dig through the snow for nourishment. But that causes problems for Idaho ranchers. Habitat uh, in most places is excellent. Uh, you know, we, uh, a lot of our problem areas are west of the interstate where we don't see a lot of rain. But uh, for the most part, yeah, it's, it's excellent. Wildlife biologist Dustin Curitan out of Fish and Game's Idaho Falls office is constantly working with habitat managers to improve winter range for wildlife. But despite these efforts, the lure of fast food can draw elk to a quick meal. We do our best to try to keep them out of uh, haystacks by means of uh, hazing, which entails uh, people going out at night and uh, shooting cracker shells, which is an explosive device that we use in our shotguns and uh, just a, a noise-making uh, device. This is a labor-intensive exercise that involves driving around to different ranches at night and spotlighting the haystacks, looking for four-legged looters. It could be an expensive, exhausting undertaking for fish and game. However, most of the work is done by volunteers like Harold Rose. I, I do this every other night. I, I enjoy just the learning experience that I get from, from volunteering. But uh, this is one of those occasions that, uh, you know, the employees just can't do it all, and I understand that. Fishing Game also issues propane cannons to landowners. Uh, they emit uh, loud booms every for intervals for three to 45 minutes, and uh, keeps them at bay for quite a while, but when they're hungry, they'll, uh, they'll do about anything to get to those haystacks. If they do get to the haystacks, that can be a safety issue, too. Okay, here you can see where the elk have eaten into the haystack here. And this poses danger both to the animals as well as the farmer as he comes to move this hay. Um, this, this creates a tunnel that would allow all this weight to collapse and could potentially kill or injure a person or the animals themselves and uh, this mesh has been placed to kind of prevent that from taking place. Often the mesh is supplied by Idaho Fish and Game. The geo grid uh, thick, thick gauge plastic that we give to landowners and uh, to wrap around their haystacks so we try to do all that we can to help them out. And In addition to the mesh fencing, Fish and Game has built fence stack yards to protect hay from deer and elk. In 2016, $450,000 in sportsman license money was used to build a hundred of these around the state. Moreover, in the same year, $360,000 was paid to landowners to compensate them for crop damage. But for Idaho hunters, this is money well spent. It supports healthy wildlife populations, preserving abundant herds and creating future hunting opportunities for Idaho sportsmen and women. Hunting also can be used as a tool. Adding more depredation hunts can help those landowners who seem to be habitually targeted by hungry elk and deer. With all this, the ranchers can get their hay to market. And the elk? Well, maybe they'll skip the fast food and eat at home more often. But no matter where the elk dine, Harold Rose just likes knowing that there are a lot of the shaggy beasts out there. You know, that's kind of fun about this job too is, um, a lot of these elk are bedded during the day and, and uh, most people probably don't even know they're here. But uh, you pull into one of these haystacks and there's 80 bulls standing here and everybody's like, oh wow, 80 bulls in one group, that's, that's unheard of. But, but it has happened and, and it's really neat to know that they really are here.